coming to this pandemic, uh, which is most uh, disappointing subject, but unfortunately we have all have to face that and sail through that this uh, situation. But the last pandemic, the second wave, pushed the masses to the great difficulty. We should acknowledge the services of corporates like Embassy and the civil society organization who stood with government uh, at uh, the difficult time actually. And I know Embassy did a lot of work during that period and uh, wanted to know what were the initiatives undertaken by you during the COVID-19 pandemic that you, know, you wanted to communicate. Yeah, so by the time the second wave came, um, we had already completed 38 joint projects with our corporate partners. When I say corporate partners, these are tenants who have rented office spaces from us in our office parks, business parks. Mm -hmm. so there was already a relationship in place, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, what happened at the second wave was very, very interesting model that I can share with you. Mm -hmm. We initially went straight to the health department. We mm -hmm. met the commissioner and we did it through a consortium through CII. CII mm -hmm. came together. We are a part of the CSR committee, very active. So we approached him. Before the CII meeting took place, I had made two visits to the Commissioner of Health requesting him to address this gathering and tell us what they need. CII also did the same. They invited the health minister to come. Mm -hmm. They gave us a broad idea as to what we should be looking to do. And ICUs, setting up ICUs and uh, oxygen plants seems to be the priority for them from us. So we did two things, sir. We created a task force for ICUs, which had three senior level founders of very large hospitals in Columbia, Asia, Dr. Nandakumar Jairam. And we had uh, Shankara Eye Clinic and we had um, Narana Hridalia. So all the founding heads of these companies took charge of one one area of work. So ICUs came under one of them, oxygen plants came under another. And doctors and nursing, you know, the people on the ground to actually do the work became a big issue as well. So that was yeah. taken care of by Dr. Devi Shetty. So within those three groups, we corporates decided to bring in whoever we knew, like embassy had its own set of partners, 3M came in or a Tata's came in. And together we supported each other in very short time, the technical people, that's the hospital experts in the group would actually go to the hospital during the pandemic and validate what the hospital needed. Now, that was the first big hurdle for us. We corporates, we didn't want to go to any government hospital and walk around and figure out what they need. And we didn't understand any of the equipment anyway. They also provided us support to order equipment because as you know, ventilators, et cetera, was a huge, huge shortage at that time. As embassy, what we did is we took all the information from the health department, put it in a clean presentation like a CSR project, pushed it to all our key partners. And within no time, we were able to mobilize a lot of support because corporates were saying, I have set aside one crore. What can I do with it? Can you guide me? So similarly, we would then play the part of talking to the health department, local hospital superintendents, suppliers, and then we were able to do over 135 ICUs. Mm -hmm. In a very short time, we did three, four PSA plants, uh, children's ICUs that we did in the end of the second wave. We also set up a hospital for KSRTC bus drivers and their families because they were very vulnerable. Uh, and we did it pan India actually. So it was a lot of uh, exciting collaborative work and what really left us speechless was the fact that such so many corporates, they knew that working through embassy, they would get the you know bang for their buck. There was no ambiguity. There was such a lot of trust in, 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 in our work. And my team pretty much worked every day of the second wave till 9, 9.30 in the evening, sourcing the right products, the right price, and making sure it doesn't get wasted. That's most important. <laughs> and working with the team on the ground in hospitals because government hospitals, they were also not ready, you know? So they were also in shock. So yeah. getting them mentally ready, uh, yes. you know, getting the superintendents, bosses to come and talk to them in our meetings saying, you know, get ready, don't take so long to make decisions. It's critical, all of that, sir. Yes, Fantastic. that's quite interesting. I'm, I'm really speechless. So, so much yeah. of work 
and yeah. so much of work to the humanity of uh, the country thank you so much for uh, doing your services Thank you.